That's what I did, and that's what I can just brag on. I'm put some respect on LSU. After beating Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes on Sunday, the Tigers' win was their first title in the school's history for both the men's and women's program. Now, the team is headlined by Angel Reese, whose run this season was unlike any we've seen, not only breaking the single-season Division I double-doubles record, but also capped it all off by being named the most outstanding player in the tournament. We are so incredibly lucky to be joined now by the champ, the Bayou Barbie, unapologetically, Angel Reese. So excited that you're here. I understand you're in the city. A lot has happened since that title game. As I mentioned, you're in New York. You've been making the rounds. You've been to Meta, TikTok. You've done a number of interviews. Uh, you're here today. You're on social media. There's been a lot going on. So what has it been like since you've won that title game? It's been fun. I haven't slept much, but it's been super fun. Going around the city and being in New York at this time, it's no better time than now, so I'm excited. So we all know what happened in that title game. We saw it in that highlight, right? I was there. I got video of you pointing to your ring finger, talking a little trash after the win. All athletes talk trash. There was a lot of reaction to your actions, though. Caitlin Clark spoke on SportsCenter this week, and she said that you shouldn't be getting the criticism that you've been getting. What are you, What is your response to Caitlin's comments? I mean, I appreciate Caitlin. I mean, me and her have competed for a really long time now, and me and her have never had beef. We've always been super competitive every time we play against each other. So I think it just helped grow the game. I mean, it's it's fun. She does it. I do, I do it. A lot of players do it. Not just women, but men do it as well. So I just feel like we were criticized, and just because we talk trash sometimes, I mean, we, we are who we are, and I think that brings entertainment to the game. Uh, I like that you posted that you're not new to this at all. I saw that picture of you at Maryland with Caitlin Clark also. You were cheering. Yeah. Uh, so you're true to this. You've been doing this for a minute. But the yeah. reaction is very different when it comes to you versus other people. Why do you think that is? I mean, you're, you're, I don't fit into the box. I don't fit the narrative of what people actually think you're supposed to act like. I'm supposed to act like a lady. I'm supposed to just be cool, calm, and just get buckets and just keep it cute. But no, I'm really passionate about the game. I think that's what brings the excitement to the game and it brings a lot of fun. So all of the, the women that are out there talking trash and just being able to also be friends after that, I think it's cool. All right, so I want to talk about the situation with Jill Biden. She was at the title game. She said on Monday that both teams should visit the White House for sportsmanship. The White House was, has since walked those comments back, and LSU has announced that the team will accept an invitation to the White House. You said you're going. What do you hope to get out of that experience? I think it'll be fun for the team, especially my teammates that have never been. I've been because I'm from the DMV area. I've been to the White House before, but I think it'll be a fun experience for my teammates. Of course, I trust my coaches. I trust the President Tate at LSU. So they've got my back, I mean, through everything. We were really upset and kind of emotionally hurt about it because we worked really hard. And I don't think out of all of this, it's been highlighted that we actually won a national championship. So we're going to go celebrate it. It's not about Jill or the Joe. I think it's just more about the team. So it's going to be fun. Okay, so I like that you and Flau J were saying after the win that the price just went up. I want to just give you some numbers. I know that you've already heard them. So the national championship game was the most viewed NCAA women's basketball game ever with 9.9 .9 million viewers on ABC and ESPN. There was also a stat about you and how you got more Instagram followers in six hours than any men's Final Four player has gotten in his entire life. So what do you think that that says about the rise of women's college basketball? Hey, it's lit. So many people have reached out to me, celebrities, rappers, NBA players, NFL players, WNBA. So just to see it, that they recognize it and respect women's basketball, that's just my goal. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than LSU. It's just to grow the game, and I'm excited. I get to have so many little girls that look up to me and say, I want to be Angel Reese, and that's the goal. I want to be able to be inspirational and just be someone that somebody can look up to. So I'm happy to be in this position. I like that you said little girls look up to you. Grown women also look up, look up to you. I'm not even going to lie because you are unapologetically yourself. Uh, you have 17 NIL deals. You said that you don't fit the box but have made a space for yourself being unapologetically you. What advice would you give to anyone who struggles with fitting inside of a space that doesn't have people that look like them or act like them? Just be confident. I think my confidence confidence is through the roof and I think that's why a lot of brands want to work with me just because how confident I am in my skin I get on TikTok and I just post I'll wake up with a scarf where I don't care like I'm just who I am and I think that's why everybody really loves me and just appreciate who I am because you really don't see that I mean it's hard it's actually hard trying to take the criticism the negative and the positive but I have so much support behind me my family friends my coaches teammates my school everybody appreciates me and loves what I do so it's for it's bigger than me honestly 
Uh, you talk about that confidence, even though it's still hard and get the criticism and all that. So where exactly does it come from? Yeah, I mean, I'm really passionate about what I do. My mom is a single mom. She's really independent. She raised me and my brother by herself. So looking at her and seeing how she never backed down to anything, she always stood her ground for everything. She worked super hard for me and my brother to get in this position. So being able to just look at her and say, Mom, you showed me, you paved the way for me. And then having other people like at my at my school, Simone and Sylvia, they've been amazing to me and all the WNBA players that have reached out. So I have a lot of people that have my back. Uh, you mentioned the fact that rappers have been hitting you up. We saw you dancing with John Morant. I mean, there's a lot that's been going on since you won that title game. What has been the coolest interaction that you've had since winning? I don't know. Today, I was surprised with my cousin. My cousin won a national championship, too. So being able to see him today was, was fun. We got to turn up a little bit of TikTok today. So it's going to be a family cookout coming soon. It's going to be lit. <laughs> Angel, I'm so sad that you're not in studio because we wanted to do a TikTok together, but it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we'll do it in the future. We'll we'll link yeah. it up later. Okay. <laughs>